What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody having a blessed day today, man. I hope y'all having a good one, for real, for real. Uh, today, pickup vlog on a Friday out of all days we're doing a pickup vlog. Uh, hopefully, we'll have another one tomorrow, man, because I plan on doubling or even tripling if you count my 2014 pair of the black infrared sixes tomorrow, man. So, I'm getting another pair. This is... I don't did enough videos about these already. Should I even do a pickup vlog when I go pick these my other pair of these up tomorrow or not? Y'all come below and let me know. Um probably not, right? Y'all already seen the shoe enough. Um I like to wear Air Jordan ones when I go pick up Air Jordan ones. Of course we're talking about the Air Jordan 1 OG High Turbo Green things that are releasing today. Are y'all going after them? Did you sleep? Are you keep? Did you get them? Did you forget them? Uh cop or drop? Uh, one to rock, one to stop, all that stuff they be saying. All that stuff they be saying when they talking about buying two pair or one pair or just getting them or not getting them. If that make any sense. Anyway, let's look on uh, Sneakers app to see if they sold out. It's 1047, so it's almost an hour after the um, shoe drop on the East Coast. So if the shoe is sold, well, I don't know. If the shoe is not sold out, hold up. If the shoe is not sold out yet, it's not going to sell out. Um, they gone. They are gone. It says sold out. Y'all probably can't. Uh, pine green, I mean, not pine greens. Uh, turbo green, turbo green. Things sold out. And the uh, Kobe Pro Tro that came out today, draft day, they sold out too. What else came out today? The Paul George All Stars are still in stock. They brought some Converse out. A few things or whatever. But the um, green sold out. So I actually had, um, I actually had two pair. On deck for today, I'm only gonna pick up one. I just don't, I just don't see myself having to double up on that shoe. So I'm gonna go to um, one store and tell them that you know, don't worry about my reservation on that. Hopefully they don't put me on the do not reserve list. And then I'm gonna go to Foot Locker and uh, pick up that pair so I can get my VIP back up when the year restarted. Uh, when the re when the year started from the beginning of the year, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. They uh, restarted my 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 money spent on my Foot Locker VIP, so I have zero dollars spent. And in order to maintain my platinum status, I have to spend over three hundred dollars. So this that's why I'm buying all my my next two cops. These and the black and reds. I'm buying them from Foot Locker so I can um get that get over that three hundred dollars and maintain my platinum status so I can keep winning these reservations. Anyway, today. I kind of went over all this stuff on my Instagram live too. Y'all follow me on IG uh, at rich underscore Mike 23, man. Do it. Uh, but anyway, I'm wearing these today, man. Y'all, Did y'all forget about these? Did y'all forget about the Air Jordan 1 OG High bearing things? Did y'all forget about them? Bearing? Bearing ones? Huh? Anybody? Anybody? Any takers? Yeah, these things. I probably could have wiped them off a little bit, but you know, whatever. Uh, they got some creasing going on in the toe box. If y'all can see that. Uh, what y'all think about these, man? Do y'all remember these? Like, a lot of people remember these. I do. I went with the gray laces. They also got a, um, let me focus. They also got a 3M lace that, like, a uh, lace with, like, 3M pinstripes going through it. Uh, then you got, like, the pinstripes going through the insole right there. Um, they just kind of remind me of, like, a shadow and a black toe put together or something like that. So, anyway, that's what I'm rocking today. Uh like to wear Jordan ones to go pick up Jordan ones. It's, it's kind of corny, but you know what it is. It is what it is, man. Uh, so, like I said, comment below and tell me if y'all went after them today. I might not even lace them. I might just throw them on loose lace just like this and be like, you know what? I'm finna rock them like some slippers. Um, y'all going after anything today? Comment below. And let me know. I don't even know. Do I don't even know if I like these shoes. And I say that to say not to be negative or nothing like that, but it's just like I haven't seen them in hand yet, so. I'm hoping it's not one of them sneakers I, I, I just look at online and pictures and stuff and be like, man, I got to have them. I got to have them. And then when I get them in hand, I'll be like, I ain't have a have them. I ain't have a have them. You feel? <laughs> they work like that sometimes. But anyway, um, these shoes, one thing I like about these shoes, they made like the, the leather is complete garbage. It ain't soft. It's stiff. So I uh, won't be having these on that long today. Just want to rock them, pull them out. Something ain't put out in a long time. So anyway, enough of my talking. Almost five minutes into the video, so I want to I want to get my get y'all my real opinion on these uh, turbo green things, man, because I have not seen them in hand. Been a lot of early reviews, a lot of people getting them early and giving their opinions out, and I just want to give my humble opinion, man. So with all that said, man, let's go and get these shoes, man. Do it. All right, man. Your boy is at the mall. Stone crazy action. Anyway, um, real quick fit check I guess you know what I'm saying nothing special I just got a 
jean jacket that I got out of DTLR. It's kind of spiffy, man. It was like $72 or something like that. Um, this is Black Panther comic uh, strip shirt on. And I got the um, twill joggers going on, khaki. With the, uh, y'all already know, the Barons. I already told y'all I was rocking these, throwing these on. Um, Baron ones, man. A little scuffy, but it's all good, man. It's all good. Um, but that's it. Let's go in the mall and see what these turbo green things looking like. If there's anything in there that I haven't shown on a vlog before, I will show it and talk about it, get my opinion on it. But if not, we're just going to get the shoes. We're going to come back. We're going to check them out. And we're going to see what we really feel about the Air Jordan 1 OG High. I like saying Air Jordan 1 OG High for some reason. Anyway, turbo green thing, man. Let go. Yeah, man, so I'm walking up on Foot Locker right now. Foot Locker action. Um, and they got them sitting, so... That's a good sign. How you doing? They got pairs sitting in the front window. And these shoes still don't look green to me. But they are dope though. They are dope. So uh, let's get my pair. Boy, what in the hell is going on right here? I saw these online, bro. These are some future boots, bro. Future ski boot action. A uh, little battle angel shoe ad. Oh, 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 goddamn. Terminator 5 face out. I'm just saying, man, what is going on, bro? Oh, got a shoe, by the way. Had to do it. But um, the bottoms, bro, the zip on the side, like, you know, man, wow. I ain't got a word. I don't say everything I had to say about those. I got a question, though. I got a question. Why is they still doing this, bro? Why is they still doing Uh-oh, uh-oh. Got a little added addition. But why are they still doing it? I bet they like $250. I bet they like $250, bitch. Yeah, y'all can have them, bro. Floral print on phones. That about that about eight years too late right there, bro. Yeah, man. So it wasn't too much going on in there, man. Uh, I just showed a couple of sneakers. N nothing crazy going on. Hey, this guy Rick was picking up his pair, man, and they tried to get him the the, the pair that they had already laced up on the display. Like I was like, bro, and he looked. <laughs> Then they gave me mine at the same time. He looked at mine and they was unlaced. They still had the uh, lace uh, packages, you know, um, connected to the sneaker. And he looked at his was laced up and the, the lace package was uh, disconnected or ripped off or whatever. And he was like, no, nah, man, that ain't even DS right there. I want my DS and I feel them, you know what I'm saying? Like I would have been the same way. <laughs> I would have been the same way, man. So, um. Yeah, they went they went back there and got him another. And I didn't they was acting like they didn't have no more like he wore the same size I did. They were acting like they ain't had no more twelves, but they went back there and grabbed one and gave him a um a DS pair, man. So you know what I'm saying? They about to get that boy display. And I don't even know why they laced the display up. You know what I'm saying? Just leave the shoe how they come out the box. Don't nobody want to buy a brand new pair of sneakers if it's not how it looked directly out the box. He says, Y'all done been touching all on my shoes and stuff. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Shout out to that guy Rick, man. But anyway, um, I would look at the shoe now. I haven't even looked at mine really like that yet, but I, I guess I'll go back to the house where I got the uh, better camera at and we can get a uh, closer look at these Air Jordan 1 OG High. There we go with that Air Jordan 1 OG High again. Uh, uh, Jordan 1 thing, uh, Turbo Green thing, man. So anyway, yeah, man, let's go back. Do it. Yeah, man, back at the crib, I've already done the honors of taking the shoes out the bag, taking them out the box and everything already, and here we have it. <laughs> And bow the Air Jordan 1 OG high turbo green things. I really like the high cut of this sneaker. It seemed like the collar is super high this time. And it seemed like the um the bottom, the toe box goes very flat at the bottom. Just just has a real IG IG OG looking cut to this sneaker right here. I love the fact that it starts off white right here, and then it goes up around the collar, has that kind of like dingy off-white look to it man this shoe look i like this shoe because it looks vintage and it's brand new i don't know i just something about that is just dope to me got your kind of wrinkly leather going on on the toe box the bottoms is actually gray which i don't even think i realized that in the first place hold on man focus um but i really like this shoe man I, it's dope when i first saw images of it i was like those are dope but they didn't never they never look green to me until i see them in hand they kind of look like a turquoise or a teal kind of color going on you can see it really good on the inside it's just like the um those crimson those neutral gray crimson joints it made you like that shoe um for some reason it seemed like it's, it's a little bit better 
I don't know if better quality. I think the shape just looks better on this shoe to me. But you like you can see the real good hits of the turbo green right there. You got your tongue with the uh purple swoosh and then you got the uh like yellow or whatever color that is of the Nike Air going on right there. This is a dope shoe, man. First, when I first saw this sneak sneaker, the first thing I thought of was this shoe right here. But it's uh, it's obviously nothing like this shoe. The uh original colorway in the UNC Jordan 1s. Um it's nothing like it. I was like, this shoe is not green. It looked like a UNC one, but as you can see, those are two different shoes. This shoe looked like this shoe if I beat it to hell and then tried to bring it back, but it didn't all it didn't come back all the way. I don't know. I just like the dingy kind of look that this shoe got to it. It's weird when we start liking our shoes come looking dingy brand new. I don't know, it's just different. It's just a different look. Give you more vintage look. And then the Air Jordan 1 is like one of the most nostalgic vintage like 1980s shoes. So when they come with this real vintage beat up kind of style on the sneaker it makes it look dope to me that's just my opinion um they kind of got like a torn out tongue whatever kind of reminiscent i guess of the off-white shoes or whatever but um it's just it's just it's dope man it's uh spring 2019 i guess that's what sp19 means air jordan 1 og high um that's what it says on the side right here if y'all wondering why i was saying that there it is right there so y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of these man i think that they are fire Five, man. I think it's a five sneaker. Uh, they got the two laces that come with it. They got gigantic lace bags this time. I remember my guy, um, Fine Line, was reviewing these early and he was like, they got the big lace bags. And I was like, damn, why they put them in them big Ziploc sandwich bags? But yeah, that's that's the lace bags. Um, uh, I copped this pair from, like I said, Foot Locker. So I paid, I used my, I was able, I didn't have a $20 coupon. I had a $15 coupon. I was able to use that, which ended up being. Uh, 156 and some change or something like that. You know, it's not too bad for these shoes, in my humble opinion. I went to, uh, to the other store and told them I wasn't going to pick up the reserve pair, so hopefully they don't take me off the They said they're not going to take me off the list or nothing like that. They actually thanked me for letting them know so they can go ahead and take the ticket off and sell the sneaker. Um, and like I said, they had the one that they had sitting in, in the uh, window in the uh, display when I first walked in the Foot Locker, that's the one they tried to sell, old boy, man. Um, so I'm glad they went back there and got. I'm glad he got his DS pair unlaced so he can he can do all the things to his sneaker that he wanted to do. Y'all comment below and tell me um which lace should I go with though, bro? Like I thought about going uh just the teal or uh, turbo green. I thought about going purple, but I mean, is this the type of shoe that you do both laces? I don't know. Y'all comment below. I know some off white sneakers you can do both laces and it look kind of stylish to a certain extent, but can you do that? with these Air Jordan 1 Turbo Green things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would do an on feet of the shoe, but there's so many on feet of this shoe, man. I'm just going to save y'all that repetitiveness that y'all seen because I've seen so many on feet of this shoe. Um, and I've seen so many videos of this shoe. I thought this shoe, I, I would get this shoe and be like, man, I've already seen it because I've seen it so much. But it, honestly, I know some people say, well, videos and pictures don't do it no justice. That's one of these, one of them shoes, which you got, you got to see them in hand. To give your own opinion on the shoe, man. Like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with these. I'm not even gonna cap. Like I really just, I like, but I like the, um, I like the Crimsons. I mean, I like the Hyper Crimsons. They was dope. You know what I'm saying? I like these better, and that's just, just for colorway. You know what I'm saying? Plus, like I said, at, at first, like for some reason, this it has more of an OG cut to me than the Crimsons. I don't have them. They ain't one of them boxes. Uh, ain't one of them boxes up there. I can't pull them out right now. But this have some kind of a higher cut. Um. Are they just as high as the UNC's? Hmm, it seems like they might be higher than the UNC's. Let me see. Let's see. Yeah, they're a little bit. See, look at that. They're a little bit higher than the UNC's. I, I knew that this had a high cut, man. When I, I looked at the shoe, I said, bro, this shoe got a higher cut. Look at that. Y'all can't tell me y'all don't see that little slight, slight bit higher than the UNC's. Um, and this is supposed to be like an OG right here. And then, like, the swoop and the toe kind of goes down a little bit more smooth, too. In the turbo greens than it do in the um unc you know what i'm saying so i don't know i, I know og uh jordan ones had super high collar on them and they had a super slope down smooth uh toe box going down you see mj rocking them and i noticed that when i first saw them in the window i mean in the uh display case that they had that super high ig og cut and then that swoop down in the front that just make the Jordan 1 look even better. That make it look more vintage and more like 1985. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's enough of me talking, man. Y'all can comment below and tell me what y'all think of these. 
I really like them. It's one of my favorite little cops of the year so far. It's another Jordan 1, and I got so many Jordan 1s, but Jordan 1's whole value, man. Like, I thought about, you know what I'm saying, how much, when you look on stock and stuff like that, how much Jordan 1 hold value over it, like any other Jordans. Jordan 1's just hold value, you know what I'm saying? And I think it's just because it's one of them shoes that's timeless. It's classic. You can wear it casually. You can dress however you want with Jordan 1's, and it's just... It's just, it's just a dope shoe to wear. Um, and it's hard to believe, like, probably 10 years ago, I was not a big fan of Jordan 1s at all. And I think one of the biggest reasons I wasn't the fan is because they weren't bringing them back in the, with the OG, the way they used to make them back in the day when Jordan was rocking them. They didn't have that super high with the flat. You know, like I was just saying, with the with the, with the the whole shape and all that, they was doing it with the Jumpman and all that. And I, I used to like the original Jordans, but I just, I never could get back into Jordan 1s until they started releasing them like the OG form, which I thought that this was more OG form, but here you go with a non-OG colorway that has more of an OG shape to it. So, anyway, that's enough rambling out of your boy, man. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Y'all hit that thumbs up if you like this vid. Didn't get a whole lot of vlog action going on in the mall because it was nothing new. I don't want to bore y'all with the same stuff you've seen over again. But, you know, technically you can say that about these shoes. Y'all definitely done seen these before at this point if you're watching this video. But, um, anyway, man, I appreciate y'all for watching my video and seeing my opinion on the shoe. Y'all hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll get all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell. I'm stumbling over my words. I'm thirsty, man. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. And keep watching my video, because that's what I'm here for. Go on. Rich. Mike. Rich. Yo, hype. Just kicks. Jordan. Six.